I just wanted to give an update uh, on the 2021 campaign. Um, I put together just one slide, and uh, hopefully you guys can read that. And I just wanted to share where we're at. Um, the middle, the blue one, uh, the, the, the blue graph there is where we currently are. The red is our budgeted, uh, what we hoped for this year. So as you can see, we're, we're short about $14,900, um, which, you know, seems like a lot. And, uh, but, but in reality, what I, what I also wanted to show is compared to last year, we're actually up uh, $9,000. So we have made part of that leap, you know, for this year to uh, getting to our goal and our budget for, for the campaign. Um, and I know, it, you know, this year has been, uh, I guess, an interesting year for everyone, I, you know, to say the least. Um, but you guys have been faithful and, and continue to give to the church, and, and we appreciate that. And I guess, you know, in December, this, you know, this month where we're thankful for all the things that God has done for us through Jesus and bringing him to this earth, um, you know, I just, I just invite you guys to uh, try that little extra more, you know, a little more, and we can, and uh, I have faith that we can hit that number. I know a lot of us have had some kind of blessing this year, and uh, just remember that and, and hopefully give some to the church to, to help us kind of bridge that, that gap. I'd appreciate it. Well, the church would appreciate it. And uh, uh, Merland here has a, has a great story um, from her experience this year and, and just some insight, and I, I'd, I'd love for her to share uh, with you guys. So. Good morning, church. Um, today, I'm not here for the highlights, if you're wondering. So I'm here just to reinforce Jeff on, on his uh, plan. Now, um, back, in, back in April, as you guys heard my story about being in school and how I get performed when God helped me pass my test. So I said, um, when I pass my test, I have a friend. She said, well, Milan, once you pass your test and let me know, I could um, talk to my boss and, you know, you'll get a job right there. And I said, okay. Well, and I said, God, I passed my test. Now it's time for me to get the job. So, and I said, God, when I do go work as a licensed practical nurse, that first check is going to be going to the church. I don't care how much is it. It's a, if it's a dollar, I'm going to just put it right in there. Now, if it's $10,000 too, I'm just going to put it right into the church. So when I do get the job, I was going to go for the interview. So I said, um, God, um, just make sure that when I go for my interview, not too many questions. Because, you know, when the nurse, when you go, they're going to ask you your experience, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, I don't want to hear all that. I said, okay, well, just no, no question, please. And then I said, God, um, when I used to work as a nursing assistant, so I get paid around $14. And I said, well, God, I don't feel like taking less than 22 or $23 from this woman. And I feel like, and I said, well, from 14 to 22, 23, that's a big jump. So I'm not going to be too greedy. I said, well, God, I'm going to go work for you, so you pay me. <laughs> so then <laughs> when I go to the interview, and the woman looking at me and laugh, 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 with nonstop. And I said, okay, well, <laughs> that's what I need. So we laughed together, blah, blah, blah. And then, okay. Then she just, there was, there was another nurse on the nursing station. And then she write what she's going to pay me. And I said, oh, okay. And she tore, I had a tour. And then I go. And then guess what? I get paid more than I expected. So I said, okay, well, I'll take that. So then when I, <laughs> when I, get, when I get my first check, I said, I do not put my check on my account as a drug deposit. So I just hand me the check. And I, I don't want a penny to be missing or spin on that check. So I said, I got my check. I, she called me. I said, she said, Milan, I have a check for you. I said, okay, I'll come by and pick it up tomorrow. So then I go pick up the check. I cash the check and bring it in. I said to Pastor Sean, this check is a promise that I make to God. I said, God, when I do get a job, the first check as, when I go to work as a nurse, this check going to be belong to you. So I cash the check, bring it in, pray over it, and since then, I've been blessed. 
Now, this is not all. Um, <laughs> it's just, sorry. Now, I also want to stress out in the importance of giving. I have a few, I read over a few chapters that I'm just going to give you a couple references. You could, you know, read it on your leisure time. I have First King chapter 6. That's where King Solomon has to build the temple. That was a lot of instruction was given. God said, this is, how, this is what I want you to do. A lot of instruction. So that's what I said last time when I was here, up here. I said, when you have something to give, don't just drop it in the basket. Make sure you bring it ready in the envelope. Bring it ready respectfully. Because God has given us so much through COVID. A lot of people has been gone. A lot of your friend, family member has been gone. So we can't pay God for this. So if we can contribute to the work of God, let's do it. And I have also Exodus chapter 35, 36 and 37, Leviticus 27, and Numbers 28. So you go ahead, read on your leisure time. And also, before I finish, um, I told you I used to work as a nursing assistant, right? So... When I work as a nursing assistant, just an example, and I give a dollar to the church, right? Okay. So then when I get promoted, I get, you know, I get paid more. So then when I come to the church, I say, well, I get more money, then I contribute more. So I come here, I give $2 and a half. Every, every other Sundays when I come, I give $2 and a half. That's just an example. So it's go the same token for you guys. If you get promoted, you get a new job, you know, you get paid $25, $30 more, please contribute a little more because God has done so much. You just don't know. If you have a spiritual eyes to see what God has done, you'll be just like, just like the Samaritan woman. This is what I am today, the Samaritan woman. Once you get the good water, the living water, you'll be stopped talking. You'll be talking nonstop. You'll, be, you'll let everybody know what God has done. So that's what happened to me, and I can't stop talking what God has done, so i got to let you all know what God has been done. So thank you, church. Thank you. And uh, that was your sermon. So. There you go, yeah. There you go. No, here you go. Thank you. What else is there to say, right? Um, let's talk about giving. Uh, no, that is a, uh, a beautiful example of why God asked us to give the first, the first fruits. He says it's an act of trust. It's an act of obedience. You know, it's, it's one thing to stand under a tree and, and gather up the apples and put them into baskets and store away. And then at the end, take those leftover yellow ones, the ones with worms, and say, okay, those are God's. It's another thing to fill that first basket and say, this is God's basket. This is for the people around me. This is for the people I love. This is for the people in my community. This is for others. And then to trust that God is going to continue to make that tree give fruit and provide for you. And that's, that's what you did by trusting God and making that promise. I'm, I'm going to trust God with the first. He will continue to provide. And so church, we invite you to trust God with your giving. You can give online at churchinthepalms.com give. You can give in the baskets right here in this room. We invite you to do that.